Before his plane had touched down on UK soil for a state visit, President Donald Trump raised the risk of straining historic friendships and insulting his hosts. Britain rolled out the red carpet for Trump and his wife, First Lady Melania, who are on the other side of the Atlantic for a whirlwind of royal pageantry hey, hey. and protests. Donald Trump has got to the Trumps were welcomed by Prince Charles and a smiling Queen Elizabeth at Buckingham Palace and honored with elaborate ceremonies, which included a state banquet hosted by the Queen. But beyond the trademark pomp, the trip is at risk of being overshadowed by Trump's interventions on Brexit and a long-running feud with London's famously anti-Trump mayor. Trump kicked off the trip by renewing verbal attacks on the mayor after he said that the sitting president did not deserve to be honored with a state visit. Trump taking to Twitter to call the mayor a stone-cold loser. This is a, a president who we've got used to being very controversial and, uh, and very combative. But um, I said to him that we're, we're going to put on a great show for him. Um, because uh, America's our closest ally and uh, we're delighted that he's bringing his family with him. Before getting the royal treatment, Trump dove into the country's chaotic politics. He broke convention by weighing in on who Britain's next prime minister should be, endorsing Theresa May's rival, just days before she steps down as conservative leader. And he waded into the UK's Brexit debate, Another sensitive topic that's caused extreme political stress. Say it loud, say it clear. Trump is expected to be greeted with mass protests throughout his time in London. I feel it's my duty, uh, I feel it's my obligation to uh, come out and uh, protest a bit about the danger, the clear and present danger that Donald Trump is to the United States and the United Kingdom and to the world. He's just a horrible person. I've never had such hate for someone in my life that I do for him, so I just feel I need to be here, really. The massive orange Trump baby blimp will also be back, flying over Parliament during anti-Trump rallies in central London tomorrow. Trump, however, tweeting that the trip was so far going really well, and he hadn't seen any of the protests.